The ASPX grid view allows you to provide your own grouping rules. In this video, you'll learn how to implement a custom grouping algorithm. Instead of grouping on specific values of the unit price, let's group the unit price so we can see it in $10 increments. Therefore, we can see if the product unit price falls between the $0 to $10 or $10 to $20 range and so on. We'll start by setting the unit price column sort mode property to custom, which enables you to use a custom grouping algorithm. To implement this algorithm, you'll need to handle the custom column group event. This event is raised for each data column whose sort mode property is set to custom. The code first checks to see that the column is not empty and the unit price column is being referenced. So if the process column is the unit price column, then I'll compare two adjacent rows. If the rows should be combined into the same group, the result is set to zero. Otherwise, it's set to one or minus one. Note that the handled property must be set to true to indicate that no default processing is required. Now we'll need to replace the default text displayed within the group rows. To do this, handle the HTML row created event. Here we'll determine whether a group row is currently being processed and if the grid's data is being grouped by the unit price column. If so, then we'll determine the group interval and specify the text to be displayed within the process group row. And we're done. Now let's run the application to see the results. The unit price column is now grouped and labeled by values ranging in $10 increments. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.